guys welcome back to my channel so today I have another synthetic wig review for you guys I'm gonna be reviewing a wig that I bought myself latest release from sensationals what lace collection so far I think I've reviewed every wig that sensationals what lace collection has come out with um, there's been some hits and there's been some misses last month Kiari was their latest release and if you haven't seen my reviews on that I have reviewed that in three colors so I'll put those videos either in the description box or on the info card for you guys. Shout out to Kyra Shine. She um, inboxed me a couple days ago and let me know that Sensational had dropped Dancy on certain websites. So, so, and before we get into it, you guys need to know I have a bias against synthetic curly wigs, but I'm gonna try to come into it with a unbiased opinion but it's really hard because a lot of curly sim synthetic wigs just look bad to me um, with the exception of pop blossom and I know if you watch my channel a lot you're probably tired of me mentioning pop blossom but once you get a really good wig and then it gets discontinued it's like heartbreaking some websites still have her in like a few colors but they're not the colors that I want so I consider it discontinued so if you don't know anything about sensationals wet lace collection they have 13 by 6 hairlines and they're supposed to be like illusion hairlines. They start off with a lighter density and then they get into the fullness of the wig more so like human hair wigs. So uh, this is what Danzy looks like on the stock card and I have not, I'm just now kind of taking it out of the package. So this is what she looks like on the stock card. She looks pretty, but I will say, I will say that I feel like this is gonna be like too much hair so I, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this but we'll see in two colors and I'm gonna show you guys those like I'm manipulated at the beginning of the video so you guys can go ahead and see this is what the number four looks like it's a true number four like I'm recording earlier in the day around like 10 45 in the morning and it's on camera it looks dark but it's actually like a true number four so here is what the pardon space looks like it's pre plucked you do have curly baby hairs around the perimeter here is the hairline here by six area here comb on the far right and left side and a comb in the back and then that's where you have all your tracks and stuff so I'm just gonna try this on real quick just so you guys can see what it looks like and then I'll try the other color and then style each one um I want to switch out to my black wig cap Alright, so this is what Danzy in color number four looks like. This is what the hairline looks like. It's very, very full, and I do not want to do too much manipulation with this wig because it's so big. So, this is what we got going on. Let's do a little quick 360. already know I don't think I want to keep it at this length or this shape I'm probably going to trim this up all right let's shift it and see what we got going on it does kind of give me pop blossom vibes but these curls are more tight um, they're smaller as well so not exactly like it, but I think I could trim it up to kind of give me that vibe though. Okay, so that's the right side. Let's see if you can wear it on the... Okay, and here is the left side. 
So you can wear it in um, any direction, which is really good. So let's switch into the other color we have before I style them. That I have is a 99J, but Sensational's 99J is very subtle. So it's basically, yeah, it's really dark. It's It has a hint of color. If you're somebody who wants subtle color, that's good. But sometimes I want my 99Js to have some presence. And theirs is just really, really subtle. Okay, so here is the 99J. Let me try to turn this up so you guys see. I wonder, can you guys see that? It has a hint of color in it. You can barely see it on camera. In natural sunlight, you might be able to. Try this one on as well. And this will probably be sped up. And this one feels um, more snug than the number four, um, but not snug to the point I would call it small head friendly. I feel like it's average. This feels more average, but the four feels more big head friendly, which is kind of weird. But sometimes there's some inconsistencies with wigs depending on the color. And the shape on this, it looks a little bit different as well. It feels different. I feel like Shaka Khan a little bit. I'm actually gonna try to see if my black, um, we'll see if this black wig grip works. Grip is, I don't know. I have to, I think it fell like, off my head when I was sleeping, so it's in the other room, I think. Let's see if this works. Of course you can part this wig, but I don't wanna do that. I just shifted it to the side instead of reparting it. I think it's easier to do with straight wigs like Kiari, but I don't wanna do it with this wig. All right, let's check out the lace and see how light it is. It does appear, it doesn't look too, too light. It is light over here though. So let's see how we're gonna style this. Now, since I did turn this, it's gonna be a little bit off, but because this hair is so big, I'm probably not gonna have to use too much like adhesives and stuff. I'm probably just gonna tuck it under. And I've showed you guys how I do that, but it's just, you just take the ear tabs and you just tuck it under the wig. Okay, so here's what the hairline is looking like. It doesn't look bad. Some of my edges are gonna peek out I don't even know if I'm gonna use any spray like that. I'm probably gonna do subtle baby hairs and then trim it up. So you do get, again, you do get some curly baby hairs with this wig, which is pretty cool. And, may, and baby hairs on a curly wig just make sense. Um, they just do. So I'm probably gonna bring out my own baby hair here just because I tucked this side of the wig under. And to gel down my baby hairs, I'm gonna use some Eco Styler Gel. Go ahead and use some Got To Be Glued as well to go on top of that, because the hold of Eco Styler Gel isn't that strong. But I like that it's not that strong. I just want a little bit more hold, just a little bit more. I'm gonna tie this up for a few minutes and then come back and trim it up and everything. All right, in this current state, this is just too much hair. It is. Um, 
So, I am six feet tall, so I can only imagine what this, how big this will look on somebody that is um, shorter. It's just too much. So, I don't want to wear this this long or this big, so I'm going to try to cut off some length and shape it up just a little bit. Because as of right now, I'm not feeling it. When I first tried her on and when I was trimming her, I was just looking like this is just way too full. I wish they would have dialed back on the density just a little bit. I know we are headed into fall winter, but if they would have just dialed back a little bit with the density, I would probably like this wig a lot more. But that is a preference thing. Some people like really big hair. Um, but there was no way I could wear Danzy in its the way it comes all full like that I just think it's way too much hair and I'm saying that as somebody who is very tall um, so I can only imagine somebody with a more petite frame trying to wear this wig as is it's just way too much hair um, so I did trim her up a lot so this big ball of hair right here you can make a, another wig with how much with how much hair I cut off this wig so it's really really full um the the cap on this wig is very comfortable um one of my like little loops back here was broken so it did feel very loose on my head so this is big head friendly to me um i have a 23 inch circumference head so it's very very comfortable on my head um the good thing about this wig one thing i really do like is I didn't have to use any adhesives because it's so much hair. Um, all I did was just tuck the tabs underneath and then I tucked it and then it's just out over here. It's not glued down at all. Um, I have on a wig grip. I don't have on the lace wig grip. I have on just like a black one um, and I'm pretty secure guys. My wig's not going anywhere. So of course you can use the new lace wig grip that I reviewed. It's really good but the old wig grips work fine too. So um, I have both. Um, I have a little bit of baby hair over here. Um, the lace is lying really flat if you look. And it's weird. Um, yeah, so I didn't have many issues with the lace this time. I just popped some powder um, onto my lace and that was it. I didn't have to struggle like I did with Kiari. Like, I think Kiari is amazing, and that's like one of my favorite uh, wigs I've tried this year. But the lace situation is very frustrating because you have to do so much work to make it blend. Um, I took pictures of this wig, and it actually looks better in pictures than it does like than I was expecting. It looks really good in pictures. 
And then I went outside and the lace looked pretty good too, so this wig is nicer than I was giving it credit, but still, it's just way too much hair and I don't want that much density with my wigs. It's just, like even now, I feel like I should go in the back and trim it up. It's just too big for me. So this is where we are right now. I just don't want this much density with my curly wigs. I can have a, a fuller wig, but not this full. Um, and that's why I like pot blossom so much because it's like the perfect density. You get that big hair look, but it's not too full. I'm gonna keep this though, this particular color, and hopefully as it ages, it starts to look better. Um, I could see this, you know, being a really nice fall wig, a fall winter wig, but I'm not like going crazy over it. I'm not gonna tell you guys to rush out and get Danzy like I would Kiari or uh, Morgan from this collection, but I think overall, I think this is like a, I don't know, maybe a seven and a half. I'm not crazy about, about Danzy like a lot of the other wigs from this collection. That's just how it is. So um, if you are a big hair curly lover, you might, you might like this, this wig though. Um, I'm just not 100% sold on it. Um, I'm gonna change into the 99J even though it's, it's super dark so it's gonna look like this anyway. Alright guys, so here's Dancy in 99J and I did take pictures in natural lighting. Uh, with this one, I did not cut off as much. This is the full length, but I did add a few layers in the front. Um, this wig is huge if it's not cut. So, if I... Would I repurchase this again? No. I just think it's just way too much hair. Um, I think it's cool that they came out with like a kinky curly texture. I just think it could be better and they could have shaped it for us and took out probably half of the density. I just don't think, no. This is just not my favorite. Um, I did take pictures in natural lighting, so I'll insert what the 99J looks like in natural light. You can actually see it. It's a nice, subtle color. Um, still, overall, I'll give this wig like a seven or seven and a half. Um, maybe a six. I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven, a solid seven. Not my favorite. I would not repurchase this. Um, Maybe in a couple months when it's colder, I'll try it again, but right now, I don't think I would put this in my rotation of fall wigs. And I'm gonna have a fall rotation video coming for you guys um, in September. Um, I'm gonna have some fall rotation, a fall rotation wig video coming for you guys this month, so keep an eye out for that. But I don't think Danzy is gonna be a part of it, but this might be the perfect wig for you, so if you are interested in it, I will probably have a link down below, or you can just search sensational dandy and purchase it wherever you want to um shout out to you guys for watching my video especially my premiere squad we have settled on premiere squad as the name for you guys like i let you guys vote and i put up a poll for you guys and it was like 80 percent of everybody wanted premiere squad versus versus chat fam so Shout out to my Premiere Squad for supporting my channel and tuning in. If you like to be a part of the Premiere Squad, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. You click that bell so you're notified every time that I do another update or I do another upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.